almost spring, which means time to prep your closets for the fall. I'm Cheryl Lazar for Yahoo.com, bringing you Inside LA Fashion Week, where stars and styles are hitting the runway. The week started with a bang from the BB collection. Eva Longoria stopped backstage before the show. I like affordable clothes that's really fashionable, and so BB's a really perfect match for that. You can go in there and really buy a wardrobe at an affordable price, but at the same time, it can be considered high fashion. Rebecca Romaine hit up the front row with her other half, both wearing BB. I think they project a real strong, confident, uh, sexy image, and I'm really honored to be a part of that. I was going to wear my BB sport uh, my BB Sport pink sports bra, but uh, I left it at home. It was all about war and peace with futuristic army themed designs. The colors of choice, black and white of course. Then I got close with Joey, whose new self-titled line, Joey Tierney, was making its debut on the runway. Styling has been an amazing experience and I'll continue to style. You know, I love to design. I love making clothes. Rocker Juliette Lewis gave her seal of approval. I'm here to support Joey Tierney. I'm so excited to see her new line. Joey has made pieces for me. She's styled a lot of photo shoots I've done. And who knew Dustin Hoffman was a fashionista? I, mean, I really do like women's clothes. I'm one of the few men that like to go out and, and dress. Dress like a woman? My girls and my, and my wife and myself on Thursday nights. Alvin Valley hit big on Tuesday night with its own celeb following. I've known Elvin from back in the day in New York, so I always went to his shows and stuff. He's a good friend of mine, so I'm just here to support him. I love, love his stuff, and um, he's just got a really cool vibe and knows how to dress women in a really sexy, fun way. I'm wearing his clothes right now, and they're comfortable, they're sexy, they're conservative, and they're perfect for every age. An Alvin Valley girl has to be cool first. She has to be young and then sexy. That was definitely the case as Alvin Valley brought back trends from another era with pencil skirts and skinny high-waisted trousers. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Ed Hardy brought the circus to Smashbox Studios and it wasn't only with the clothes. Jenna Jameson caused a ruckus on the red runway. Well, Ed Hardy to me is really the quintessential LA style. It's about edginess and being yourself. Well, you know, I love it Hardy clothes, and uh, I think it's really cool. And you know, as you see, I've got my own tattoos, which is, you know, sort of Ed Hardy-ish yeah. as well. The much-awaited finale of the week, though, was Kevin Hall. He really knows the woman's body. I just think he's, you know, the, the silhouettes and are so fluid and beautiful, and just they feel really good on, and they look good on. Well, I think the challenge um, when you work for another house, another large house, is to uh, capture the essence of what that house is, but also infuse your own sensibility and your own taste level and your own you know, design talent into it. What a week of fashion dues. Well, it was all about the designers bringing back mod, retro, and rock-inspired styles. We all know a little celebrity action doesn't hurt anyone. I love LA Fashion Week, it's fun, it's LA, it's where I'm from. I love getting together with people, my friends, and um, and seeing the new styles. I, I think LA Fashion Week is great and I think that it will continue to grow in its popularity and also respectability within the fashion community. It's incredible, it's chaotic, it's so LA. Now you can tell your friends you had a front row ticket to LA Fashion Week. I'm Cheryl Lazar for Yahoo.com, I'll see you next time.